This is amazing. I feel like we've just won a football tournament, Keith. We have this huge trophy in front of us. Of course, it's not a sports trophy. This is the, I've heard you call it the Daniel Ross Cup. Daniel Ross himself, I know, called it his American vase. He did. This is the Ross Silver Cup. And this was presented to a fellow of the Royal Society, Captain Daniel Ross of the East India Company, for saving life at sea. He was a hydrographer. He was like a That's mapper right. of seas and things like that. And he was cruising along around near China at the time. And he came across a stricken vessel, the Asia of Philadelphia. And then yeah. along comes a ship. It was Daniel Ross in the Discovery. We were reading about this before. It was quite amusing. It does seem like his first priority was to pootle across on a small boat and have dinner with the Americans and they quite had a meal. and Gentlemanly business in those days, being a captain. Okay, but then he barked some orders. He said, 40 of my men, I want you to stay here, secure the ship. Another American ship came along. I think it was going to just keep on going. It was going to keep on going, yes. But he fired, but Ross fired his guns across the bow and said, hey, come over here and help. Or well, it might end badly for you too. Mm -hmm. So that ship came across. They got the cargo off, the cargo was saved. And the cargo being saved is what's very important to this story. Yeah, I mean, if a few seamen had drowned, they, they probably wouldn't have minded too much, but the cargo was very important to the insurers. And that's the reason that they decided to present this cup as a commemoration to Captain Daniel Ross. So Captain Williamson, who was the captain of the other ship, the Asia of Philadelphia that was stricken, it wasn't him that presented this cup to his saviour. It was the insurance company saying, mm. thank God we didn't have to spend a whole bunch of money on insurance. Well, that's right, yeah. Do you think maybe it was a bit of a message to other sailors and captains of the time that if you help our cargo, mm. you might get a pretty trophy I as mean, well? It, it was traditional to give awards a silver plate, commemorative silver plate at this time. So that would have been a part of it. But yes, they, they certainly would have wanted to encourage interventions at sea that would help stricken vessels and uh, save them some money, probably. So before we have a closer look at the cup, mm. let's deal with the inscriptions. Now on one side here, this is pretty boring because I think this is just names of people, they're basically the insurance people. But yes. the interesting inscriptions on the other side mm. here, we have the same sort of uh, picture mm -hmm. of the stricken vessel and the other vessels coming to the rescue, the rowboats, the ships on the horizon. And you've got these nice details around the inscription of, of naval items. So there's a cannon and then the key bit. Here we go to Daniel Ross Esquire, commander of the Honourable East India Company ship Discovery in testimony of the sense entertained of the manly and important services. Manly. Manly. Mm. Manly and important services, okay. Rendered by him in contribution to the rescue of the American ship Asia of Philadelphia, Captain Williamson. I like that Captain Williamson's name's on there too, almost like shaming him for running, for running aground. Yeah, yeah, not good. Rescue of the American ship Asia of Philadelphia, Captain Williamson from imminent peril at the mouth of the Tigris in the month of September 1807. There's the story. What else have we... It's a, it's a lovely thing. We've got an eagle on top, of course. American viewers will be very familiar with this, of course, because uh, of the uh, American seal. So you can see there's the eagle there and the motto across the top, a pluribus unum, out of many one. You can see why Ross went on to call this his America vase. That goes, that goes on there. These handles, they're, they're fantastic. They're like serpents or snakes. Yeah, you've got face. sea serpents there. Fantastic. And the feet here on the plinth. What are yeah, they? they like it's kind of uh, fish design, yeah. They look a bit like sort of Chinese style, which would be appropriate because this happened off the coast of China. Yeah, and the, the, the floral patterns here pick up a little bit of that. You've got some reeds there, the kind of things you might find in shallow water. So altogether, it's, it's a very beautiful thing. That will just come off the base, so if you lift it from there. Yep, there we go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was an honour to save your ship. Is the value in the silver, or would collectors like this because of its story? I think the story is a good one. Everyone likes a story of naval heroism, don't they? So Daniel Ross's memory would live on in this artefact, so that people can visit the Royal Society, see it and enjoy it. So it'll go on display for Open House, which is one of our main events. Definitely one of the more ornate things we've had on the series so far, isn't it? Yeah, we, we like a bit of bling, don't we? Yeah, cool.
It looks like a replacement piece though, doesn't it? So we don't know if that particular repair, if that's what it is, is associated with the damage done to the quadrant when Cook had it, but it might be just a little clue as to identifying if this instrument is indeed the one that Cook took with him. Oh yeah, you can imagine this was the damaged bit where they did a dodgy repair and then when they mm. got back to the UK they, they put in this nice bronze one. Yeah. So.